Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Nicole and in today's video I thought we would do something a little bit different which is I'm gonna plan the week of June 27th in two different planners. So why am I doing this? Great question. Um, it's around that time. It's like almost the beginning of July and I feel like planner funk has taken over and planner peace has just disappeared and I'm all over the place. So I thought maybe we could try something old and something new. And since this week is a relatively easy week in terms of like things I have going on, I thought we could do both in one. So first off, I have my Hobonichi Weeks and I have posted a plan with me in the Hobonichi Weeks and you guys seem to really like it. And then I just kind of stopped making them. And I promise you, I have not just been using it and not showing you guys. I actually have not touched this since May. And I hate that I haven't touched it, but I feel like the Hobonichi Weeks and I have like a love-hate relationship where I either really love it one week or like I find it to be the least functional thing in the world other weeks and there's like no in between. And I kind of fell into a funk with it. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe a change of layout will make me fall back in love with this. Um, I think I'd just gotten into a rut with the layout perhaps, and maybe the layout wasn't working for me anymore. So we're going to try a new layout in here. And then <laughs> this guy. So this is an A5 look term weekly planner. It's an academic year. It starts in July of this year and it will go until uh, December of next year. And this is what the layout looks like. It's a weekly planner. And I had never seen this before. I was, I'm familiar with Wig Term in the like dot grid notebook sphere, like bullet journal, but I had no idea they had their own planners. And I had gone home to visit my parents for uh, Father's Day weekend. And my mom was like, do you want to go to Barnes and Noble? And I was like, yes, I do. And then we were just like walking around and we saw these and all the like the Wig Term notebooks. And she was like, you like planners, right? And I was like, yes. And she's like, look, they have like new ones. and this color like stole my heart like it is amazing like it's it's stunning i think it's the vanilla cover and i just i had to have it and i was intrigued by the layout because it reminds me a lot of traveler's company without like being a traveler's notebook which i'm not sure i really want to get into so i don't know i really like the vibe it's very clean let me get to like one where you can't like see the ghosting of like the earlier pages too much but yeah, it, it's like so clean and I don't know, I think it, it could really work. So yes, with that all being said, we're going to plan the same week in both of these planners. And I was thinking about how I wanted to do it, whether I wanted to do like event in here, event in here, and like kind of do the same thing at the same time in both. But I thought that would be just a little bit too chaotic. And like this whole premise of this video is a little chaotic to begin with. So I think we're just going to do one and then the other, and I think we are going to start with the Hobonichi Weeks. Okay, so first things first, let's find the current week. Uh, it's a little ways away. Like I said, haven't touched this planner. It's really, really sad, you guys. And I'm, I'm excited to get back into it simply because when Hobonichi, like the 2023 releases come out, I just, I need to know if... I need to buy this planner or not because I really would like to if I'm going to use it but I don't want to if I'm not like I would like to save $30 if I know I'm not going to use this so for the rest of the year we are going to hopefully experiment and figure out whether this is like a necessary purchase for next year so like I said different layout and I went ahead and like did some markings of what I was thinking um, because I know that I will not be able to count and um, like talk to you guys and film this at the same time. Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking events over here and then like a box for each day over here with my like daily tasks. Oh, by the way, important thing to note is that I'm sort of experimenting with the idea of splitting up my work and personal stuff. So long story short, ever since I became full time at my job, I have been in flux about whether I will ever be returning to the office because I started right when the pandemic was at its peak and everything was being shut down. And basically they were like, 
work from home for the foreseeable future. We will let you know if you're going to be coming back in the office. We'll give you two weeks. And that had gone on up until now. So back at, in March of 2020, up until now. And about a month ago, we finally got confirmation that we are work from home going forward. So I had been keeping everything together for convenience reasons, just because something could change at the drop of a hat and I just wanted everything together. But now that it's been confirmed, I have decided to split it or at least try. So yes, putting that out there, no more work stuff in here, but okay. So I have eight boxes over here, Monday through Sunday and like a little note section. And then I'm going to put events and time specific things over here. But I am thinking that this vertical space is just really inefficient for me. Like in the, when I was putting both work and personal in here and I was splitting the column down the middle, that was like an appropriate amount of space for me. But I was finding on the weekends that like, it was just an inefficient use and there was like never anything really going on over here. So I have this washi tape from Sterling Inc. that is just stunning. And I was thinking we could run it over here and sort of like make this column a little bit skinnier, add some decoration, kill two birds with one stone. So I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, there's that. And then, okay, yeah, I, I really like that. So I'm just gonna plop this here. Oh, maybe. All right, there is that. I think that looks good. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is write the headers for the days over here. I was going to use like, script stickers and then I realized I didn't have any so I think I'm just going to write them with my pen and then maybe highlight over them in like colors that match the washi tape all right so there are all the headers in I am liking how this looks I think the mild liners that I chose match like pretty well. I don't know off the top of my head like what the pack is called but I will link it down below of course with everything else that I'm using but yeah I think they match really well with the washi tape and then now it is time to actually start filling this in I think. So like I said pretty easygoing week for me but something very important that is going on is payday on the 30th. So I'm going to take this payday script and I think I'm going to layer it over the washi over here. I know I said I put this washi down because I don't usually use this space, but I'm, I'm going to use it now. I don't know what's going on. This is this whole video is chaos. It's mid-year planner chaos. So it seems about right. I feel like we should do something to mark like the beginning of July. Okay, so I do have these that I was using. Maybe we can... I don't know, is it gonna be too big? I feel like this is kind of large. I don't know, that might work. Let's just do it. Stop, that's really cute. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Um, Let's see. Yeah, normally this is when I would put my work things in, but like I said, not doing that. So there is potentially a Stanley Cup Finals playoff game on the 28th and my friends and I have been watching, like getting together and watching all of them. So if there is a game on the 28th, that will go there. But since we don't know, I think I'm just going to get a pretty post-it note, slap it in there, and then we will see. All right, that is a very large post-it note for the size, but also one of the smallest post-it notes I have. So it's going to have to work. Um, but yes, potential game seven on Tuesday. These are like some drop stickers uh, from cloth and paper that came in a sub box way back when. Never used them. No time like the present. So let's see. I think I want to use like the smallest size just because this planner is tiny. I don't really use drop stickers that much. I feel like I use circles or nothing. All right, there we go. These are from SK Journals. I kind of want to get some like more doodly ones. These are very minimal, but they will they will do the job. All right, there we go, that's in. Now sports, then tasks, then we're done and we can move on. Okay, 
there we go. Everything's in, now let's do tasks and then we can move on. I know that Thursday, well, every day since I don't have a habit tracker, I just need to write in to take meds. That's very important and I often forget, so. And then on Monday, I need to rinse, change water, filter. That's like for my cat's water fountain. I just need to like rinse it out and change the filter. And then on Thursdays, when I take the trash out, and I don't know, I think other than that, that's all the day specific tasks I have. So let's move on to the like term. All right, so for the like term, I was thinking since it's my first week in here, I don't really know what I'm doing. I thought we would keep it really simple, pen only, maybe mild liner, maybe the occasional character sticker. I don't know. But for the most part, just pen. And since I already kind of walked us through all the plans in the week section, I thought this could be like the little chatty section where I kind of catch up with you guys. So how have you guys been? I'm just gonna pretty much copy everything from the weeks over to here while I talk to you guys. So yeah. Oh my gosh, that's in the wrong spot. Crap. Okay, totally wrote that in the wrong spot. Not even close to like when it was supposed to be. So we're off to a tremendous start in this new planner, aren't we? So yes, like I was saying, are you guys in a planner funk or are you content with your systems? I would love to know. If you are content in your systems, please share your secrets. <laughs> I wish that were me. But alas, here we are. So Technically the 4th of July for Americans is obviously next week, but I know a lot of people have plans like over the weekend. So if you guys are from America, do you have any fun plans? Um, usually I just like have a cookout with my family. It's like nothing too like serious, um, but it's always fun to see family, especially now that like I don't live like with my parents anymore. So I don't really get to see them as often. Okay, so while I was filling that in, I realized I forgot to put Sunday's game on my Hobonichi weeks because like the schedule on like the Pirates website is like a Sunday to Sun a Sunday to Saturday calendar and I always forget that I need to like look at the next week to get the Sunday one. So there is another game here. So I'll just add that in really quick. There we go. Also now realizing didn't put Wimbledon in here but i don't think i have the room maybe maybe i could just okay you guys sorry to like bust in on the like terms time but i do want to make sure that this gets in here and since i don't really have the room what i was thinking i could do is i was thinking what i could do is like plop like the girl maybe like in the corner and then highlight this and then that way I can get my highlight that I wanted in and I'm also marking that Wimbledon is happening even though I forgot like that oh that's really cute it kind of implies that this is like a tennis match but like I know it's not so I think that's okay but yes that's so cute okay back to the look term um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put times in here I don't normally on a timetable just because the times are here but since this isn't split up into half hours, I think I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna go back and add those. All right, so there are those. I have a nail appointment, like I said, at two. Okay, so everything is in. So I was thinking maybe I could time block with arrows. Um, I don't know, it's something different, but actually I'm gonna get a clear ruler because it's gonna bug the crap out of me if these aren't straight. Okay, so I also think I kind of want to differentiate, like obviously like this is the only like actual thing that I must leave my apartment and attend, except for this if it comes to fruition. 
So I want to like highlight that and I think I'm just going to use like gray. And I think I'm going to keep it really simple and just use this gray mild liner. This is the like newest gray. It's cool gray from like the neutral one. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that just to like remind me that like even though it looks like I have a lot of things that's like it's a priority because I have to leave to go to it. So last thing is going to be the, oh, payday, duh. I think I'm just gonna write in payday on Thursday instead of using a sticker because I haven't used stickers um, in the rest of this. And I, I kind of like it. It's really simple. I might like branch out a little bit more in the future, but you know, just getting my bearings, but yes, so. I'm gonna put actually like all of the habits like at the bottom, like, well, I only really have one if you take away work stuff, but my medication at the bottom and then the rest of the like tasks will go at the top. So I had rinse and clean the filter and I had trash out on Thursday. Okay, those are all in and I thought of something else um, while I was doing that. And that is on the first, so like July 1st, I need to weigh my cats. So those are the finished products for both planners. You can see this really simple functional vertical and then this little bit more decorative horizontal. I don't know which one I like better. This will obviously fill up and then I will also like jot down notes and then like fill in like the daily tasks at the bottom. Same over here, less likely notes, more just the tasks on this one. But I don't know, they're two very different vibes, but like I'm kind of vibing with both of them. So we will see which one is more functional for me and I will report back next time. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did and would like to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But again, don't feel the need to. Just watching my videos is enough for me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.